made their biggest trade yet as they acquire starting pitcher Frankie Montas and Lou Trevino from the Oakland A's. And in exchange, the Yankees trade J.P. Sears, Ken Waldachuk, Luis Medina, and Cooper Bowman. Or Bauman. And for the Yanks, they've been trading away a lot of younger pitching. Um, but Montas is under uh, control through next season. So through 2023, Lou Trevino through 2024. So it's, again, th these are not rentals, but Montaz was, I would say, the number two uh, pitching um, option behind Luis Castillo. Yankees were not able to get Castillo, and that price was rich. I mean, I mean, the Mariners traded away a lot to get him. And for the Yankees, they didn't trade away Od Oswald Peraza, uh, which I thought, was a possibility in this Montaz deal. I thought that there was a chance that would happen. Waldachuk, and I guess Waldachuk's kind of, I think, the big get for Oakland as he was a, a number 70 prospect um, on LB.com, and he was uh, considered the number five prospect uh, from the Yankees. Uh, Medina, number 10, Sears, 20, and Bauman, 21. Although J.P. Sears, I thought, looked really good. I think J.P. Sears, uh, I had a feeling that Sears might be a trade piece, uh, and he goes to Oakland. Um, and I, I believe Sears had actually, one of his starts, one of his spot starts, might have even been against the Oakland Athletics, I believe, um, earlier this season. So Ken Waldachuk, you know, he was someone that was... Uh, Soon to be in the majors, kind of like I was saying earlier when it came to um, the the Cubs trade, where the Cubs acquire a pitcher that could jump right in to the rotation. Um, you know, I could definitely see the same thing for Waldachuk. And, you know, whereas uh, Hayden Wisniewski for the Cubs, Ken Waldachuk for the A's, J.P. Sears as well. I think J.P. Sears will definitely, he's a major league caliber pitcher currently. Uh, and then Luis Medina, there's always been, you know, high thoughts of Luis Medina and how he has a good arm. So the Yankees definitely traded away a lot of pitching. Um, I, I guess, again, A, the Yankees must feel like they are stockpiled with pitchers, and B, they are high-valued um, from other organizations. Uh, and so the Yankees are able to pull that off. So, um, and the good thing is you are acquiring pitching as well. So, uh, the hope is, is that Montas and Trevino can be contributors not only this year, but next year. And then even Trevino is, uh, will be under team control in 2024 also. So let, let's, you know, talk about what this means. Montas, I think is really viewed as that number two behind Garrett Cole. Right now, and it, it, it has turned out that Luis Severino uh, is on the 60 day IL, transferred to the 60 day IL, as long as as well as Miguel Castro, which the Castro one is less of a surprise. But um, really, for Severino, he uh, can't really be fully trusted from a health perspective. And you hope he comes back, but we don't know what that means. That might mean, you know, as a reliever, they might want to build him back up as a starter, but. That just makes getting Montas all the more important. And, you know, Frankie is, uh, he has been really good this season. I mean, let's just first talk about that. He uh, is 4-9, and nine with, which is not a good record. That's a bad Oakland A team. You can't look at the record. 3.1 ADRA, 104 and two-thirds inning, 109 strikeouts and a 1.14 whip. That, that's very, very solid. Lately, he hasn't been as good. Lately, you know, the numbers are a bit up. Um, you know, it seems like maybe the, you know, the ERA hasn't been inflated, but the whip uh, hasn't been great lately. So I, I, it seems like Montas has been struggling just slightly lately. Let's look at his last couple of starts. Um, I mean, yeah, his last start was against the Astros on July 26th. Went five innings, gave up three runs, two earned. Um, so... Not terrible, but he did face the Yanks earlier in the season and pitched really well. Uh, went six innings, four hits, two earned runs, one homer, two walks, and seven strikeouts. And, yep, that was, right, that was the game where Marwan Gonzalez homered. Mar that, that, that game randomly came to my mind recently where Mar Marwan Gonzalez had homered. Uh, there was a couple of early runs, and that was actually, Jay, how, funny enough, 
and I think it was spoken about then. That was JP Sears versus Frankie Montas. And now they were traded for each other. So Sears actually gets the better of Montas. Um, but now, you know, I, I feel like he was someone, Montas was someone that the Yankees, I think, had coveted. Before the season began, Sean Manea, who got traded to the Padres, and Montas um, were on the trade block. And they kept Montas, and they finally got rid of him now. Um, and you you hope that'll do well. Now, look, the Yankees have been unsuccessful when it came to, like, you know, Sonny Gray, for example. Sonny Gray, Oakland A's um, starting pitcher. And that didn't really quite work out. With Montas, you hope it does. He's 29 uh, and has been with Oakland for a while now. He started out with the Chicago White Sox, but really got going. Um, 2019 was a real breakout season for Frankie Montas. 2019 was really good. Uh, the the, the, the uh, shortened season in 2020 was not good, but he was really good last year. 2021, 3.37 ERA, 1.18 whip, 207 strikeouts, 187 innings. Like, he has dominant stuff. Like, Frankie Montas has high-caliber stuff uh, and can be a top end of the rotation kind of guy. So Montas will see how he handles New York, right? It's completely different than Oakland. Uh, very much so. So Montas, I'm excited about him coming in. Uh, this is a guy who really, uh, you look at it now, Cole, Montas, Nestor Cortez. Um, you would think that Frankie Montas will take Domingo Herman's spot in the rotation currently, but who knows? Um I know they're trying to limit some innings. Specifically, Nestor Cortez comes to mind. So, who knows? Maybe it's maybe Herman stays in the rotation, but one would think that it would be Montas that takes that spot. Um, so, that is really the big piece. Frankie Montas is really the big one. Lou Trevino. Let's talk about Lou Trevino. Uh, 30 years old. Um, has only been with the Oakland A's. He's been with them for a while now. Um, and he... You know, had a breakout season in 2018, his rookie year. 2018, really, really good. Great top setup guy uh, for the Oakland A's. And that was the team, uh, the Yankees beat that Oakland A team um, in the wild card game. Uh, a game in which Liam Hendricks, I believe, was actually the opener for the Oakland A's in that one. Uh, and, and, you know, with Trevino, there's been some up, up and down as well, where he actually struggled in 19. But in 2020, the shortened season, he did well. Really well. Uh, and then last year, pretty well also. 22 saves and 8 holds. 3.18 day right. This year, he really struggled early. Like, major, major struggles. Um, but he's found himself, you know, he, he kind of regained that closer role. The, the, the other numbers are ugly, but I will say this. 45 strikeouts in 32 innings. That's elite. 45 strikeouts in 32 innings. You hope this is like a Matt Blake job, where Matt Blake is able to... Um, sort of round Trevino into form. Uh, that That's the hope here. Um, and so, you know, the thing about today, the Yankees add Efros and Trevino to the pen, Montas to the rotation. Uh, you know, the Yankees are really trying to improve this team. And this is exactly what I wanted because this is a good Yankee team, but it's got its holds. And, you know, the Yankees are doing the best they can to, to, to make it better. And I think that they're doing that, and we'll see um, what else they do from here. Uh, because again, now, now you're looking at about 24 hours from the deadline. They're, I mean, you got to expect Joey Gallo to be traded. But beyond that, wouldn't be surprised if there's some other moves. Probably nothing as significant as this Montas deal. This is the big deal. This is the big trade. This is the headliner. You know, Montas, obviously, Benintendi is a big one. Afros, I think, is underratedly a big one. But really, Montas Trevino, this is sort of the, the blockbuster deal um, that the Yankees have made. Um, and we will see how it goes. Um, like I said, I think Walda, Chuck, Sears, Medina, Bauman, that's a pretty good package for Oakland. As well, but the good thing about this is that the Yankees are not acquiring rentals, so you know you're hoping that this current pitching that they're acquiring can make up for a little bit of the future pitching that they're losing. And look, with these prospects, they don't all pan out. Some of them will, right? Maybe Sears does, maybe Waldachuk doesn't. Um, but we'll see what happens. I think it's a pretty good trade for both sides, um, and the Yankees are looking like a different team. They are looking like a different team than the one that we saw um, before the Benintendi trade. Certainly now the pitching staff has really uh, been beefed up. And we'll see what else happens. You know, with Brian Cashman, you just never know. Uh, 24 hours to go to the deadline. But Frankie Montas and Lou Trevino are now New York Yankees.